listening. There's a hope for each and every one that believes the gospel that we are preaching. Amen. That we are sent out to defend the truth. There is a hope for that person. Hope in the Lord, God, your creator, will make you enter eternal life. Amen. But if you don't have hope in God, you can't enter that eternal life. Today being a Mother's Day, as I was preparing my message, a message, a message cross about mothers. And all of a sudden, God gave me this message about the children of Israel. How Stubborn, rebellious, the way when they saw everything that they need to see, but yet still they still rebel. That's one thing about God. He doesn't like rebelliousness. Very square, brother. Don't harden your heart against his word. Because the word of God is the one that will save you and deliver you. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to talk about hope. What is hope? Hope is that you are waiting for something to happen. No matter how long it takes, you see, be waiting. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the book of Hebrew, chapter 11, let me open the Hebrew chapter 11, verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Listen to the word they hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Whilst we are still waiting. For by the elder, for by it, the elders obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Mm -hmm. So that things that so that things which are seen were not made by things. Which of are, things we do appear. Mm. Which I've seen, but, hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Here we come again to teach and preach your word that those who listen will hear and repent towards God. We have it in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 During the time of the children of Israel, They have seen many things that God has done when they were in bondage in Egypt. They were under taskmasters. One thing about them that one thing about them is that when they are in trouble, they do remember God. They call, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they call upon God. Mm -hmm. But one thing about God too that I love so much is that when they call upon him, he hears, he he hears and comes to their rescue. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the God that we have. Hallelujah. When they were in Egypt under the taskmasters for almost 400 plus years, hmm. they were calling upon God. He heard. Hmm. And when God came to their rescue and delivered them, Mighty hand, brother. If he, might, he saw, mm. they saw all the miracles mm. that God did on their behalf. Mm. But there's one thing about them. When their leader is no more doing their will, instead of doing the will of God, they are not happy. They want 
their will to be done. The, the will of their creator, mm. which is wrong. Mm -hmm. This morning we discussed a little bit. The will of God concerning your life <laughs> and your own will. Then you can look here and there. Which one supersedes which one? God's. The will of God. In the book of Judges, chapter 3, chapter 4, rather, chapter 4, Judges, chapter 4. Let me read something from the beginning about the children of Israel. Verse 1 says, and the children of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord when Ehud, their judge, was dead. <laughs> and the Lord sold them into the hand of Jabin, Kenan. king of Canaan, Kenan. that reigned in Hazor. The captain of whose host was Sisera, who dwelt in Haroshes of the Gentiles. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, for he had 900 chariots of iron. In 20 years he mightily oppressed the children of Israel. And Deborah, a prophetess, a wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time. And she dwelt under the palm trees of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in Mount Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. And she sent and called Barak, the son of Abionu, Abionu, out of Kedes Naphtali, and said unto him, Has not the Lord God of Israel Commander saying, Go and draw towards Mount Tabor and take with thee 10,000 men of the children of Naphtali and of the children of Zebulun. And I will draw unto thee to the river of Kishon. Sicilia, the captain of Jabin army, with the Charos and his multitude, and I will deliver him into thy hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If God is your king, mm. your leader. You know what he does? He fights your battle for Amen. you. Amen. But if you choose to be your own head, mm. your own leader, you want to fight with your own armor and your own strength, you always lose. Yeah. For God to choose the children of Israel as his nation is because he entered a covenant with somebody called Abraham. Now Abraham. And if God entered to come around with you, he never renegade. He never draw back upon his covenant. Do you know what he told Abraham? This covenant that I have entered with you, if you, Abraham, you have done your part, I, God, I will also do my part. But if I didn't do my part according to the covenant, I cease to be called God. But ever since, God has not ceased to be God. He's still God. <laughs> that's the Lord. And that's the God I'm talking about. That's the God I believe in through His Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, the people came to Deborah. A woman who was a prophetess who judges them for the first time? I heard that woman was a judge in Israel. If God wants to do something, He speaks through His prophet and prophetess. Mm -hmm. This time is Deborah's time. Deborah gave assignment. To Barak. Mm -hmm. 
as a man. But the man was afraid. The Bible said, the fearful shall never inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. I don't know who is hearing me. Are you afraid of the assignment that God has given to you? Listen and listen carefully. The fearful cannot be honored, cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Mm. Barak was afraid and he said to the prophetess, if you only go with me, I will go. But if you don't go with me, I will not go. Because of all fear. Mm. And the prophetess told her, told him that, your honor will not come to you no matter how you fight the battle. Not your honor is God's. Mm. <laughs> For another woman will take the honor mm -hmm. who is not known. Mm. But you are elected. This morning, because of Mother's Day, our mothers, women, must take their proper position. In their families, even in the kingdom of God, so that they will be honored as Deborah is honored. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sexism is not in the kingdom of God. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. There's neither female nor male. That's right. Mm -hmm. Jew or Gentile. Mm -hmm. We are one, one in Christ, brother. Mm -hmm. We are all one in Christ before God. Amen. And God can use anything. Any person to accomplish his assignment. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. 100%. Yeah. The battle began. And the border called on Barak that the time is up to go and fight. For God has revealed that he will win over Sisera. The captain of the Canaan king, Canaan king. So he chased after the people and he configured them. And the captain ran away on foot. And Bara was chasing him. Hmm. He got to a place where this man got to. A place tired. And I had to meet a woman called Jael, her best wife. Mm. Let me read that. Mm. Judge, Judges chapter 4, verse 21. What am I reading? Then Jael, her best wife, took a nail of the tent and took an hammer in her hand. And went softly unto him and smote the nail into his temples and fastened it into the ground. For he was fast asleep, weary, so he died. Mm. And behold, Barak pursued Sisera. Jael came, uh, came out to meet him and said unto him, Come, and I will show thee the man who thou seekest. And when he came into her tent, Behold, Sisera lay dead, and the nail was in his temple. So God subdued on that day Jabin, the king of Cana, before the children of Israel. And the hand of the children of Israel prospered, prevailed against Jabin, the king of Canaan, until they had destroyed Jabin of Canaan. Hmm. What am I talking about? A woman! took the chance to fight on behalf of Israel. The man that is to fight because of fear, he couldn't become honorable. There is a hope for the one that take upon God's mandate that I will fight. Most of the time it is
is men that lead battles. But the man to lead battle, called by the prophetess, was afraid. Yeah, yeah, we saw the woman say, I will go with you. Be not afraid. And if I go with you and you win the battle, the honor will not be for you. Don't relegate your position as a man not to go ahead when you are being commanded. That is happening now today. Many men are no more leaving their homes. Women are leaving their homes because the devil wants to destroy homes. And when homes are destroyed, the nation is destroyed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Long live it. Mm. Mm. Still in this country, when I'm watching games, when a man becomes famous, a woman becomes famous, sometimes they say, Hi, mom! Hi, mom! They praise their mom. Why? Men relegated their position in the home. Some of them ran away. Some of them, the women dragged them away. And the women take part of those men and women. And when they become great, they remember their mother. That is why Mother's Day is spent in America more than any part of the world. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Deborah, being a woman, was not afraid to fight the enemy of Israel. What was the cause of the children of Israel? The Bible said, what they have when Joshua died, there was no more any there. And they did evil all their days of their life. <laughs> and when those who were during Joshua time died, they don't know the true God. They did evil more than before their fathers. And one thing God is that when they cry to God, God will deliver them a leader. They have Otinian, they have Judas, and they have a, 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 a Hood. Now he came to Barak. But Barak relegated that position. Most of the time, it's because of sin that the children of Israel were doing. That will call God to be angry with them and deliver them into the hands of their enemies. Saul, then, brother. Why was it to become Saul? Hmm. Hmm. They were sold to become slaves. How can another country rule over you over 20 years? Hmm. Hmm. When you relegate yourself to the background and the devil take over, he rules over you. Amen. Anyhow. Yeah. But there's a hope for people whose root is founded in Christ. Amen. We spoke about steadfastness. Mm. A foundation that is steadfast is built upon rock. Mm. No matter what is happening mm. in the air, no matter how the wind blows the tree, it's like a palm tree, mm. you see the leaves like this, this like this, but the root is down. It's down. Mm. It never gets uprooted. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. These are the children of Israel. Hallelujah. When they cry to God, as you are called upon to cry to God, and you come to our aid, God always comes to their aid. Amen. For our God is a good God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Hmm. The old covenant, God is still respected it. How much more the new covenant? To cry Jesus. Amen. It's still more valid mm. than all those ones. Because the Bible said, if there's no fault with the old covenant, you will never bother the new. There will not be room for the new. Mm -mm. True. But the new one is signed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's what those of us who believe in Jesus Christ.
There is hope for us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm. The Bible is clear. If you walk with it, hmm. it works for you perfectly. Hallelujah. But if you plow with it, you see things delay in your life, hmm. which is not good. Who are the salt of this earth? We. Amen. Who are the light of this world? We. Hmm. But sometimes we pray with the word of God. We have excuses to give. We procrastinate. That's why I say God doesn't buy our excuses. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't like our procrastinations. I'll do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll do it next week. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. I was talking about Deborah. For women should learn his life. Not be afraid when you are called upon to lead. Because so women are leading now perfectly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are leading their homes. They are helping me to their husbands. And that home is made pure. And the children are growing properly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What am I talking about? I'm talking about there's hope. For the nation Israel. There's hope for we Christians. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God has a covenant not to be respected by God to Christ Jesus. Who signed our new covenant? It was the Lord Jesus Christ who signed it with his own blood. Hallelujah. That can never be changed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we are under that covenant. Hmm. Let me read something from the book of Romans, the book that Paul wrote, chapter 5. Mm. There's something that is very interesting. Mm. I want to read that. The Bible says, verse 1, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. By whom also we have access by faith, into his grace, into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation. Mm -hmm. Also knowing that tribulation workers patience. patience. Mm -hmm. And patience experience. experience. Mm -hmm. Experience hope. hope. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Huh. That's hope in God. Amen. Let's hope in Jesus. Amen. No matter what is happening around you, yes. there must be hope for you. Hope Amen. that in our place, fail. they say if a tree is cut down and its root is in the soil, there's hope for that tree that it will germinate and will shoot up again. Again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our root are becoming children of God, believers in Jesus Christ. Our root is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Therefore, no matter the system death against us, whether the enemy cut us, and our root is still in Christ, oh, hallelujah, Amen. we will soon sprout out Amen. a branch yeah. that will bear fruit again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 5, let me say for again. And precious experience, experience hope. And hope Make it not ashamed because of the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts, in our hearts mm -hmm. by the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. which is given to us. Uh -huh. Who give us that love? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. That we can even love our enemies. Communicate mm -hmm. that love. Hallelujah. Mm. Say, love your enemies. Mm. Do, good to, do good to them. When they are hungry, feed them. Mm. When they are thirsty, give them water to drink. Mm. By so doing what? You will gather a coal of fire upon their heart. Hmm. Upon their head, for vengeance does not belong to you, it belongs to God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Who took vengeance on behalf of Deborah and Barak? It was God. God. When Sicilia, Sicilia was running, hmm. he doesn't know that the end of his running is in that place. <laughs> he was thirsty, he was hungry. He said, Hide me. 
gave me water to drink. And the woman gave her milk. He drank. So tired. Party for breath. When he slept, he slept. Mm. He went far. And the woman came. If a, 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 a tent peg. And a peg. Mm -hmm. And to the temple of this man. The head. Yeah. Temples. Temple. Mm. Yeah. To the temple mm. of his head. How am I down? This man died. Hmm. Who took vengeance on his behalf? Oh. <laughs> hmm. oh, God! Yeah. When God fights your battle, it's fought, brother. You gonna... don't fight it. Mm -mm. When God fights your battle, you don't fight Call it. Hold your peace and also fight your battles for you, son. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Verses. But while we were yet sinners, Christ. while we were yet without strength, Christ. Christ. in due time, Christ, Christ. died for the ungodly. For, for scarcely <laughs> a righteous man would die, one, one would dare yet by adventure for a good man, some would dare, to die. some would even dare to die. Mm. But God commanded his, his love towards mm. us, mm. in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. Mm. Much more than be not yet justified by his blood. Be not ju be now justified by his blood. We shall, shall be, be saved, saved from, from wrath, wrath to come. To him. Yeah, he's like For if when we were enemies, uh -huh. we were reconciled to God uh -huh. by the death of his son. How much more? Much how much more? Hmm. Being reconciled, we shall, shall be, be saved, saved by his, by his life. life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You see. It's not because of our righteousness nope. that God was defending us, protecting us. Hmm. It's not because of our obeying the instruction of God that God was coming to the aid of the children of Israel. It's not because of the covenant. Mm -hmm. We, it's because of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Father. Christ. Mm -hmm. He gave his life for us and took our sins. And today we are here, confident that no amount of the devil will be able to sway out away from the love of God as in Christ Jesus. Praise Amen. Oh, yeah. Children of Israel, according to the Bible, the scriptures, they love to sin against God. They will murmur against God. They believe the lies of the enemy. Immediately they fall into sin. And they will never. Until they are the edge of their life. Before they call on God. And all the same God come to their aid. If those people God is coming to their aid. How much more those of us. That Jesus must share his blood. For our redemption. I am the redeemer of the Lord. No matter my color, my, my race, my language. I am the redeemer of the Lord. He paid a price for black and white, yellow and green. Therefore, I can praise him. Amen. You have rights yeah. now. I can praise him today. The right and the freedom. Hallelujah. There's a hope for me. Mm -hmm. You always listen. There's hope for you. If only you believe the gospel, the gospel of God about the Son Jesus Christ that mm -hmm. we are teaching about, mm -hmm. we are preaching about in this broadcast. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Bible said. In Romans chapter 4, verse 16. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace. To the end, the promise might be sure to all the seed. 
not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of by of the faith Abraham. of Abraham, mm -hmm. who is the father of us That's all. Mm. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and called those in which be not as though they were. Who against hope believe in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be and be not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old now that yet the deadness of Sarah's womb he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully persuaded that all what he has promised, he was also able to perform. And therefore, it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now, it was not written for his sake alone, but it was imputed to him. That it was imputed to him. But for us also, but for us also, to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. Verse 25 conclusion. Who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. Hallelujah. For our offenses, Jesus was delivered. He died for our sins. Ah, for the, mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. But the, the, the grave could not hold him. Nope. Therefore, on the third day, the husband raised him. But his resurrection is not just to surrender and be at the right side of the Father, oh. but for our justification. Amen. 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 For our justification. Mm. What does that justification mean? It means that your sins will not be counted against you. Mm. He nailed it to the cross. He buried it in the grave. And he rose. Mm. For our justification. That is why I no more think about my past sins. Nope. Mm -mm. Even the one that was seen today by accident. Mm -hmm. And that that will befall me. Mm. Because he paid it all on the cross. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Say so. Amen. I am redeemed. I am set free. I am justified. I am forgiven. Yeah. I am made whole. I am cleansed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hebrew chapter 10. Let me read something there. Verse 23. Oh, let me start from verse 22. Let us draw near, if a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled and from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful, that promise. And let us consider one another to provoke not Provoke unto love and to good works. Not forsaking the assemblies of ourselves together as manners of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remain no more sacrifice for sin. But certain, but a certain fearful looking for judgment. And fearing the nation which shall devour the adversary. He that dispenses Moses' law, die without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much more, how much sorrow, punishment, punishment, suppose ye shall be, shall he be taught worthy, who has trodden underfoot the Son of God and has counted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he was sanctified. 
an unholy thing and has done despise unto the spirit of grace. For we know him that has said, Virgins belong unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall in the hand of the living God. But call to remembrance the former things in which, after ye were eliminated, ye endure a great fight of affliction. Partly, while ye were made a gazing stock, more by reproaches and affliction, and partly while ye were become companions of them that were so used. For ye are compassion on me in my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, having in yourself that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye may receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and he, and he will not tarry. Now, the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back and to perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of our soul. Amen. The Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I read this long for us to take a cue from it that we are the children of God. Yes. Hallelujah. A price has been paid on our behalf. Mm. We cannot go backward. We cannot go forward. We progress by serving God. Mm. And He's faithful to bring us to that place. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. I say praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. As today, God is calling us to hope in Him. As we talk about it, a tree tomb, that has hope for tomorrow. How much more we, the children of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Deborah has a hope. That children of Israel will be delivered from the hand of Jabin, the Canaan king. And Caesarea, who had a, a, a chariot, an army with metals, can be defeated. But let us know the role of a woman. To live in a mother's day. I want to conclude by reading Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 31. For mothers. That's why this, this, that's why this message came. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10. There's something that I lost. Ten? Yeah, verse 10. And I want to encourage women. Because today is Mother's Day. Women, hope in God. Hope in God. For this is for you. Verse 10 says, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above from rubies. The heart of a husband dwells safely trust in her. So that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like a merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She rises up, she rises also while it is yet night. And give her meat to her household. And a portion to her maidens. She consider a field. And buy it. With the fruit of her hands. She planted a vineyard. She gathered her loins. With strength. And strengthened her arms. She perceived that. Her merchant's dice is good. Her candle goes not. Out by night. She lay her hands on the spindle. And her hands hold the distaff. She searches out her hands to the poor. Yea, she reached forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She makes herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. 
Her husband is known in the gates. When she seated among the elders of the land, she maketh fine linen and sell it, and delivered girdles unto the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothings, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looked well to the ways of her household, and either not the bread of idleness, not lazy. Her children are, are raised up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excelled them all. But listen to verse 13 and 31, the conclusion. Favor is deceitful. Beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gate. Praise oh. the Lord. Hallelujah. This is for women. Be not deceived. If you are helping your wife or your husband, you are just following scripture. God will not forsake you. He will bless you. He will honor you. You will not lack your handiwork will praise you among people. And you will not lack anything. You will not be a doormat either. You will be respected by your husband because because of you, your husband is known in the gate. May God bless you as you celebrate Mother's Day. That you think about this thing, how you guide your life and change towards the Lord. In Jesus' name.